peanut butter is the glitter of the food world. Hi, I'm Beryl. And the theme of today's episode is toast. And you know, this episode came about just to say, because when I hit 100,000 subscribers, I asked you all how you toast where you live. And I meant like a ching toast and I got toast recipes and it was the most wholesome thing that's happened to me in a long time. And I just loved you all for that so much. So going through them, I thought, wait a second, <laughs> this is genius. So we're doing a toast episode and we're actually gonna do two of these, maybe even three of these. I don't know, I got very excited because toast is such, it's so universal, we all love it. It's so easy to make, we can all do it. This is a cooking show that you could actually follow along with. So with that, let's eat toast. <laughs> Hi Beryl, I'm June and I live in Singapore. So my favorite bread and toast toppings is what we call kaya bread, kaya and butter bread in Singapore. So it's actually two slices of toast, lightly browned with a smear of kaya, which is coconut jam that is a really popular uh, condiment in Southeast Asia, and a few pats of cold butter. And you sandwich them together and it makes a really nice breakfast. Some people like to eat it with soft boiled eggs. You can dip the Gaia toast into the egg. Uh, some older folks actually would uh, dip the Gaia toast into coffee. That's really nice as well. This is a really common breakfast food in Singapore and in places like Malaysia because the Gaia is sweet and it's creamy and the cold butter with the warm toasted bread really makes a great combination. Okay, so the first one I'm trying is the Kaya Toast, and I'm very excited to have coconut jam. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this tastes like Dolce de Leche became best friends with a coconut, and they decided to make the most delicious spread that's ever been made. Mm. Oh my god. I really love this. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's hot. Oh. So we're going to dunk it in my coffee. Any chance to flaunt my love for Nescafe? You know, obviously I'll take. Ooh, interesting. It adds like a little bit of like a like a tanginess. It's good, I kind of like it better without the coffee. Eating this, I truly do not feel like I'm in my living room in New York City. I actually feel like I have been transported because it is so different from anything I've ever had. Yum, oh, last bite. I'm sad. I literally licked my finger. What a way to start. That was spectacular. Spectacular. Hi, I'm Agnes. I'm from Vienna in Austria. And I like to eat my toast with sour cream and ham. The way to make it is super simple. You just take a slice of toast, you mix some sour cream with small cut pieces of ham, and then you season it to taste with salt and pepper. This mixture you put on top of the toast and then you put it in the oven until the top gets a bit brown. Then you can serve it with a salad or just eat it by itself. I like this recipe a lot because it's a family recipe named after my grandfather's aunt. So called, that's why it's called Tante Hansi Toast in my family or Auntie Hansi Toast. And we would normally eat it maybe twice a month as a midweek dinner. It was very much beloved and we were always looking forward to it. I think this is a very easily accessible recipe, it just needs a few ingredients, not a lot of time, and it's super delicious. So just give it a try. This one looks very interesting. Um, definitely not something that I would have come up with on my own. Babe, look five minutes, huh? Interesting. 
So I actually used Greek yogurt instead of sour cream. Sour cream just like kind of does a number on my stomach for some reason. Um, but Agnes said that she does as well. So it's an okay swap. This kind of reminds me of like baked Alfredo, like Alfredo on toast, if that's a thing. I like that this is named after her aunt. I feel like that's so funny to have a toast named it. I want a toast named after me. What would my toast be? My toast would probably have an egg on it and it would be called, this is so good. <laughs> that's stupid. Definitely filling. I'm like feeling kind of full. Also, I just want to say that um, just because you burn things in the oven doesn't mean that they're not going to taste good. And it's totally okay. And the burn part tastes fine. <laughs> Hi, my name is Becca and I live in London in the UK and my all-time favourite thing to have on toast is peanut butter and I've been mixing it up recently and my favourite topping at the moment is peanut butter with fresh coriander leaves, chilli and lime juice. Um, so I like to make this with wholemeal or seeded bread and I toast the bread, put the peanut butter on top and then top it with a sprinkle of some chopped fresh coriander leaves, chopped fresh red chili or dried chili flakes and lime juice. It's a really great savory toast option and it's a really fun way to mix up peanut butter toast. The idea for this recipe I got from the tub of my favorite peanut butter here in the UK. So I can't be the only person making it, but I wouldn't say it's like a British toast classic. I think toast is really great because there's so many different options you can do with it you can change up the bread you can change up the toppings and um whatever you're in the mood for you can get from a piece of toast okay uh peanut butter toast from the uk with a little bit of coriander and some lime juice definitely not a pairing i would have ever come up with on my own Whoa, wait a minute, hold on, wait a second. This is amazing. Wait a minute, hold on. This was on the back of her peanut butter jar? Okay, this one says nothing. My peanut butter jars are not like giving me any guidance. They're just telling me the calories. Okay, well, back to the toast. This tastes fabulous. It is funky. Well, like, no wait, funky's, funky's like how you describe weird cheese. This definitely has like Southeast Asian vibes to me. Maybe like Thai food because you have the peanut butter and the coriander and the lime and the spice. But then like you add the bread and you're kind of back down to it being like peanut butter on toast. It is tangy. The lime juice is fabulous. I would have never thought to put lime juice on toast. Honestly, peanut butter is the glitter of the food world. It just gets everywhere. I feel like it is all over me. I've had three bites of toast and I'm literally covered in peanut butter. And then, you know, you try to wipe it off and it does not come off. I, I stand by my statement. I've had a lot of peanut butter recently. We had the peanut butter and egg sandwich, then the peanut butter and pickle sandwich. Now I'm having peanut butter and lime. Do you see? Do we need to do a peanut butter episode? Like what's going on here? Hey guys, my name is Merlin and I'm currently residing in the United Arab Emirates. I'm an Indian, I'm from India and this recipe is from India and it's my favorite toast recipe. Uh, it's called chili cheese toast and the steps for it are as follows. You mildly toast the bread on a pan preferably than a toaster and then you slather a lot of butter. You can never go wrong with extra butter. Uh, after which we will you know, finally chop our green chilies and finally chop garlic. Top it with your bread. After which you will add your cheese. So this is the fun part, grating the cheese. So you can either use your white processed cheese or you can use mozzarella. I'm a, personally, I like the white processed cheese. I make sure there's cheese on every nook and corner and every inch of my toast. 
After which, melt the cheese using a normal conventional oven. But then we have the Brooke student life, the dorm life. So like microwave oven is the way to go. So that is about how you make your chili cheese toast. It's gonna be delicious. It's amazing when you pair it with a good hot cup of chai. I eat it like I think once a week and it is like a compulsory dish to have right before finals because like yum. Chili cheese toast. Oh, it smells so good. Oh my God. It's like the best cheesy garlic bread you've ever had because there's chili in there. So it's got this like pop of heat. Definitely good dorm food. Super easy to make. This like really reminds me of being in India because we make this as a snack when I visit my in-laws. I love this one. I feel like the green chili really makes this what it is. It just like gives it that heat, which is so nice with the fat from the cheese. And it kind of makes it more Indian. <laughs> well, that went down quickly. Um, delicious. Everybody should try it. Oh. Hi, my name is Kat Salvante and I live in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. I like to have my toast uh, with avocado, maple syrup, and sea salt. Maple syrup is special to Canada because Canada is, I believe, the world's largest producer of maple syrup, so we eat a lot of it. I cut the avocado in half, pop out the seed, and mush it within its skin. Then I drizzle some maple syrup on, mix that up, and spread it on toasted sourdough bread. Then I sprinkle some sea salt on top and enjoy. It combines sweet and salty and creamy all in one. Oh, and also crunchy. So four wonderful things. I'm not sure this version of avocado toast is common in Canada, but I wouldn't be surprised if others put maple syrup on their avocado toast. I think toast is universal because it's easy to make, it's warm, you can change up the toppings, and it's often the first thing that kids learn how to make. So, what's not to like? We're ending with a classic with a twist. Um, avocado toast with maple syrup. You might be thinking, Beryl, where's the other half of that? Roger took it. This is what cohabitation is. You're prepping, he thinks that it's up for grabs, and when you come back in after setting up the camera, half of the toast is gone. It was like a little mouse came in. I like it. I've never thought to pair sweet with avocado. Although to be fair, I think one thing that I've been learning in doing this series is I have very much lived in this world where sweet went with sweet and savory went with savory. I've never really mixed these two flavors and I am learning that you can and in fact you should. Combining these two is not like a, it's not a no-no, it's a yes, yes. <laughs> I also low-key love that this came from Canada. Like, bless, you know? I know that this episode might seem kind of basic and it's toast. I feel a lot of times when I'm watching cooking shows or cooking things, even like my own, I would watch it and be like, oh yeah, like great, that looks good, but I'm never going to make that. I really want to make sure that I spend enough time focusing on foods that have a very low entry point so that you could try them and that you could watch this and be like, um, I can make toast. Like we could all make toast. And there's something really fun about this because all of these toasts that I tried are incredibly different and are in the flavors are totally different. And they're definitely types of toasts that I have never had before. So that's just all to say that I really like this episode and I'm going to do it again and leave me more toast recipes. Okay. Bye.